Okay. Thank you, Lisa, for um, the demonstration. Do I need to stop sharing? Yeah. Yep. Just while we're getting that sorted, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Lisa Stain. Uh, it's a little bit, my name is spelled not the way it's pronounced, but that is an aside. I'll blame my husband for that. <laughs> I'm a uh, lead solution engineer here at um, Salesforce and I specialize in our field service product. So today we're here to show you a seamless customer experience. Now imagine your customers connecting on their channel of choice. And I guess you can see on the screen here, this is WhatsApp, but we can integrate with SMS, we can integrate with, uh, with um, Apple business messages, and there's an, an, a number of other different um, native channels that we can also integrate that with on the Salesforce platform. Now, our customers can choose the channel of their choice. We can have them select their date and time that works for them in a fully connected environment, all because it's powered by Salesforce and that field service operation in real time. Now, it's not just about improving that customer experience though, and that customer satisfaction. It's also about helping our contact center to, I guess, deflect some of that interaction, right? So how can we make sure that we are meeting our customers in the field in the channel of their choice and also try and deflect some of that uh, booking in uh, inbound contact uh, through that process. Now, imagine me as a customer and I have just purchased a new electric vehicle. I'm very, very excited about this because I've always wanted an electric vehicle and I'm excited to get started. And so with that, I purchased my vehicle and I need a new charger. Now, right after completing my purchase, I get a welcome message on WhatsApp, and this is going to help me arrange a installation of my new charger. Now, as you can see on the screen, I'm having a conversation with a chatbot. This chatbot knows me. It knows my name. It knows where I am. It knows information about myself because of the power of that connectedness with our Salesforce platform. Now, I don't know about you, but I hate when I interact with a chatbot and I have to repeat myself. And because it knows who I am, I don't have to spell out my name, which we all heard is quite difficult. I don't have to <laughs> type out my email address again. I get a welcome message and, uh, and away I go. Now, I'd like to schedule a, um, a delivery to, to get that done ASAP. And again, we can see there that it knows who I am. It knows the product that I've purchased. So uh, away with we go, we can click yes to be able to schedule uh, an appointment to have that charger installed. Now, as we see here, I'm having a conversation as well, again, with that chatbot. I would like to pause here for a second though. These slots are part of our secret source with Salesforce. So it is powered by field service. It is smart scheduling. It's using an optimized engine to be able to get your the right field technician with the right skills, uh, with the right location to the place that I need to get to for my customer. Along with all of those other different bits and pieces, we can also customize it based on what is most important to your business. Is that going to be reduced travel time? Is that going to be, um, I wanna make sure that my customer is always first. And so I wanna get, uh, get that scheduling out as soon as possible. We are not only meeting our customer in channel, we are also able to use the information that we've stored directly in our system to optimize that schedule. And because of that, and I'm very, very excited, I want someone to come to me as soon as possible so I can get my charger installed. Now, the system can automatically dispatch the right technician again um, using clicks and not code. This is powered by appointment assistant. Um, if we click track appointment, we're able to see there the bot fully connected to our CRM using Salesforce field service. And we can see there a great example of how CRM data and AI together can bring our field service all into one platform and improve our customer experience. We're able to see now and delight our customers with that customer success that we're all after in terms of making sure that we're across um, 
empowering our customer with the right information at the right time, including that ETA and my location as a technician. Before I move on to uh, my next, do you have any questions about anything that you've seen here that's been demonstrated? Sure. I'm so, I'm so sorry, I can't hear you. I'm so sorry with all of the AV. I'm, I'm sorry, in the case, oh, excuse me. In the case where um, you're, you might find your technician's location sensitive, this is configurable? So uh, yeah, so it's actually based on the, the mobile app. So with location-based services, you're able to, I guess, predict, uh, sorry, you're able to, I guess, show the application where you're actually going to go. So you can have, um, I guess, configuration set up so that if you are in a sensitive location, we can toggle on and off location-based services based on that. We can even hide the, the address location, but I guess the messaging there is that it is extendable enough that that is something that can be catered for. Okay, thanks. Sure. Okay. So we've just seen um, and talked about what that seamless customer experience is like. Now I'd like to spend some time talking about your mobile workforce and how to make them more productive. Now, before we jump in, when we look at innovation delivered by our Salesforce product team, we see a great use case of our generative AI. And there are two different ways at the moment that our product team have been able to deliver this for our customers. One is with a pre-work briefing. So technicians can uh, read everything up front. They don't have to worry about reading through a sleuth of documentation, all the different papers, uh, all of the different knowledge articles, bits and pieces. I'm able to have all of that summarized really nicely for me uh, out of the box. The next is that post summarization, post summarization, sorry, that I'm able to, at the very end of my job then, get a summarization of all of the bits and pieces that I have done as a technician summarize it, pop it on a work order, create a service report and get it sent out quickly as possible. Uh, I don't know about you, but one of, in a previous life, I used to have to do that and going, not as a field technician, but summarize the things that I did. And I always did it with a glass of wine at the end of the day. <laughs> but if I had the chance to do it beforehand, there is, I would just have my glass of wine and not have to worry about updating my notes. So. Uh, you know, trying to, I guess, um, provide that uh, that efficiency in the stream of work is where AI is playing in that space. Okay, so now let's see it in action. Again, now I'm imagine me as a field technician, and as I open my phone, I see the iOS widget there, which is a brand new functionality in the Salesforce field service application. Now it's providing me already high level information about my job. And as I quickly update the job status, I can then let my customer know that I'm on my way. Now, after I updated the status, I can see that there is a new Einstein action. Now, that Einstein action is providing me with that pre-work briefing using that generative AI summarization that can then let me know everything that I need to know about my job. Now, I understand what my job is about and it's provided me with some dot points there about uh, you know, what I can do next to help get that job done. This is something that is going to, I guess, try and expedite that process and try and get our, our technicians in the job, getting it done, getting it sorted so I can streamline that process, make it more efficient and get my technicians out to the next job quicker. So now I understand a little bit more about my job. I wanted to show you now about the uh, asset health information. Now, with this, it is powered by Salesforce Data Cloud, and it's bringing all of that relevant information um, into the palm of my hands as a technician to be able to understand exactly what it is that I'm there to do and understanding the asset that I'm going to go and service. Whether that is a solar panel, whether that is a piece of equipment, all that information can be centralized with Salesforce Data Cloud into our application to make sure that our technicians are kept up to date to the minute with everything that is happening in the field. Okay, so next I uh, I need to attend, 
I need to attend. So I go down and I see the directions there. Now, this is obviously opening up my native Google Maps on my iOS device. But as I arrive, it also asks me uh, to uh, check in. And this is uh, being done natively throughout the application, but it's using my GPS location. So because it knows that I'm just arriving, it's saying, hey, don't you forget, you need to do your site check-in. And this is based on my location. So what we're doing here is we're keeping compliance and safety at the forefront of everything that we do. But because of that, and because of the prompt, and the way that it is set, we're able to do it quickly and efficiently. Let's start. So the way that the application is also set out is, is with field technicians in mind. The buttons are big naturally, so that I can do it while I have gloves on if required. We can take photos from the field, add them directly to our, uh, to our flow of work, so that not only our technicians, but also our head office staff have full visibility into what is actually being completed. We're able to check to make sure that we've got the right protection and the right gear on and that we can continue on with our job as quickly as possible. Now, as we start our job, we, uh, we might need some help with troubleshooting. Now, it doesn't matter if I'm a junior technician or a senior technician, I can easily get help with Einstein. So Einstein lets us get some help with the installation. Now I'm going to ask it if, at, uh, if it can help me try and find what that installation is and how I can do it. Now what it's done here is it's grabbed the information that's required and it is done it in a matter where I didn't have to trawl through multiple different PDF documents to try and find that, that answer. But I kind of know what you're thinking here and it's where did the information actually come from? How is it doing it? Well, we can actually ask Einstein. Now, what it's doing is it's showing you the actual knowledge article. I'm gonna click it, thanks. So it's, we've asked Einstein, let's see where the knowledge article is. And we can see this knowledge article and we can actually rate it based on whether it was helpful or not to us. Now, this is again, and I think it goes to what we were learning about before, is that how can we help Einstein to, I guess, learn from what we've you know, learned from in the past, making sure that in this instance, it was great. The feedback was great and what we got was exactly what we needed. But what if it doesn't? We can then provide it feedback in that feedback loop to make sure that the next time it comes around that it learns from what it did the last time. Now, as we're about to finish the job, I mentioned we don't have to sit around in our van anymore. We can ask Einstein to help close out the job with AI summarization which in time, which in turn can be saved directly onto that work order and, uh, and seamlessly um, be able to be seen, I guess, across that organisation. This can be done, as you see here, from my voice as well. So Einstein from the mobile device can actually allow you to actually speak into your mobile device to do the, the tasks that Einstein are asking you to do. And now with that summarisation, we're able to save it to the work order And we're able to then attach that to our service report. Oh, sorry, we're able to attach it to a um, to our work order and move on from there. Now, what we're seeing here is that Einstein is actually <laughs> suggesting to us some upsell to our uh, to our customer here. So, from the field, Einstein is able to actually help us pitch new opportunities to our customers in the field. Now with that, we're able to get the relevant items to build the quote, and we're able to see the relevant items and also the relevant price directly from the mobile device. Of the price here, we're able to see exactly what we need to be able to build that quote out from the field, streamlining that back to head office so that it can be actioned with payment and an opportunity to try and close that out. But knowing that it actually originated from the field. So now I don't have to type in, write an email, call my superior to say, you know what, this person is asking for something additional. It now can be originated from the field. Again, shortening that time to opportunity or shortening that time to close. And it could even mean that I can do it actually while I'm out in the field. 
Once we've got that done, I can get a signature captured for the work for the quote and continue on my way. Now to summarize here, this is again an example of how CRM plus AI plus data and our field service um, application can drive an end-to-end -end revenue generation engine and drive self-service productivity. Thanks very much, everyone.